<laughs> Gary, what's up? Uh, I do not, uh, I do not service, service clean often, really. Um, we got a lot of asphalt up here, stuff like that. Not a whole lot of concrete, so there's really not often a need for surface cleaning. I don't even have, like, a real surface cleaner on my truck. It's, uh, it's mainly just, like, a, a little Ryobi 18-inch thing from Home Depot, so... Are you in the south? I'm not quite sure how to use this yet. <laughs> California? Yeah, so you guys probably got a lot of concrete out there and stuff like that, right? I know pressure washing and areas like that are pretty big. In the in the northeast where I am, we get a lot of uh, algae and stuff. So it's we do a lot of just the soft wash bleach work. couple people recommended doing this live i didn't uh give any notice so i was just gonna see if uh you know it's friday night see if anyone wanted to hop in yeah you do soft wash at all or are you mainly doing hard stuff Yeah, I got you. I hear you. Let's see here. I'm trying to figure this out. This is like a little trial run here for these live chats. It was recommended that I do the Q&A this way, so. Who else we got in here? Who's the second one that came in? Good, man. Neat. That's, uh, that's what I like to hear. I'm just kind of trying this out. I didn't give anyone any notice that we were going to be doing this. Oops. So uh, I'm just trying to figure out how this works. And then uh, we're going to start doing these live every week. Yeah, Gary. Um, before the... Uh, before the... The Southeast soft wash skid, I built my own, and it was a couple tanks from Home Depot, um, almost from Tractor Supply, just some hoses, some cheap uh, garden hose reels and garden hose, which failed after like the first few uses because they weren't rated for uh, the chem. But uh, yeah, built that and ran it for a while. It was a lot of maintenance because a lot of the components that I had on there, I didn't know that you really should have um plastic and pvc i had a lot of wear and tear on metal uh, pieces that corroded and had a lot of leaks and stuff but i did probably my first four or five months on a really cheap homemade one wayne's wash world what's up trying to figure out what we're doing here so like I said, for anyone who's kind of coming in and out, this is kind of just a test. How about the chem injector? I've been having problems. I don't, uh, I'm all 12 volt. I don't use a chemical injector or anything on the power wash side. So um, I can't speak to that. They need to be, from what I understand is you really got to flush them. You really got to flush them often. They can get corroded. And then uh, you got to make sure that you have the right injector with the correct uh, orifice for whatever uh, gallon per minute you're flowing. So um it's important to make sure you got that stuff it's cold out here in new york man it's like 40 something that's eh, probably 46 47 degrees right now i'm getting ready to go in and warm up it's cold so i appreciate those of you yeah you 12 as well i appreciate the couple of you that stopped in here this is kind of just a test run um what we're gonna do is i just need to figure this out i've never gone live on youtube before so uh i'm gonna probably make a little video here soon make a notice that these q a's are gonna start uh being live i think it'd be a little neat to interact with you guys so 
No, not anytime soon. I don't think, uh, yeah, summer in Los Angeles is spoiled out there. Uh, no, I don't think I would go to a gas pump. Um, uh, I, uh, I'm real interested in running my, my business as lean as possible. I don't want to have expenses and, and, uh, um, anything kind of away from the 12 volt system seems to have a lot of maintenance because you start getting up into higher pressures and higher pressures require metal and metal components aren't really meant to be mixed in with bleach and stuff like that, especially for multiple jobs every day. Um, kind of the same with uh, downstreaming a little bit. Downstreaming is great for pressure washing, but there's, or for uh, house washing and soft washing, but there's a lot of maintenance involved, high pressure, a lot of metal components. Um, the soft wash side of things with just being 12 volt is like incredibly maintenance free. You might have to change out your pump uh, once a season, twice a season, depending on how bad you're beating on it. But everything is under 70 PSI usually and everything is just hose clamps and rubber and pvc piping and, and plastic tubing um and it's just incredibly corrosion resistant i've been using the same hose since i got my southeast skid, uh southeast soft wash skid probably 300 400 washes now it's dragging around flowing all sorts of cam i don't rinse it and there's just no issue because it's just all rubber so um the gas roof wash stuff you know it's you're just getting a lot more you're just getting a little bit more flow and stuff uh, but it might be coming with some baggage. So I know a lot of guys are using. I know a lot of guys love them. I just don't think that's. I don't think I'm gonna use them. But you know that could change. Yeah, it does. Yeah, sh sh uh, sh uh, will cut through a lot of that stuff as long as it's not too bad. We usually need like a a, how, um, a roof wash mix, roof wash mix on uh, really dirty concrete. Can be, it can be a lot of profit. It's what, uh, that's what I'm aiming for. You know, it's, I left, I left other jobs, um, other careers because I wanted to make more money. And now I'm working way more than I ever did because now I'm the accountant and I'm the marketing department and I'm the workforce and everything else in between. And if any of you guys are going out and wash a house, you know, it's, it's not always easy. So it's, it's a lot of work. So I'm working more now and I left to make more money. So the way that I look at it and the way I try to run my business is why am I doing more work, double work, uh, putting everything on the line to not bring as close to 100% of it home. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, you might be able to call me cheap. Maybe <laughs> maybe I'm just cheap, but I just try to do what I need to do and buy what I need to buy to run this business. And even just doing that is expensive. So, um, yeah, you know, it can be. It definitely can be. But it all depends at the end of the day. Is It's never really about how much money you make. Right, it's about how much money you spend. You cannot make a lot of money, but you could spend money on nothing, and you can be really comfortable. There are plenty of people that make a few hundred thousand dollars a year and blow it and have nothing. You know what I mean? So it's it is what it is. It's it's all about really what you what you spend, not what you make. Yeah, it does. It really does. Um, pool concrete stuff like that. It's really nice to pressure wash, or I'm sorry, uh, just treat with SH because can't really hurt much around a pool deck and stuff like that. But just takes a little longer. Depends on it depends on how in and out you want to be. Um, most of the time, I'm I'm not really in a rush. But if you're doing a few a day and you had to pre-treat or at least just heavily treat with uh, SH on the concrete. And then maybe wait for it to dwell and then of course you really want to rinse it and stuff like that it's got to go somewhere sometimes it is quicker to just turn on the pressure washer and take a turbo nozzle to it or something like that yeah i am uh i'm gonna make a couple of modifications to uh my 12 volt system this year and uh at this point, I'm not really sure if it's going to work or not. It's just a theory. But I'm going to 
I'm gonna stick with I'm gonna stick with 12 volt, and I just want to see if I can get some uh, get some more flow and stuff like that. But it seems it seems good for right now. I know a lot of guys. There's a lot of other things you can do. I know the downstreaming, the remotes, and everything nowadays is. I mean, you can really get work done. You can really get work done that way. But uh, you know, it's it's just another way. You know. Any other uh, any other questions here? What upgrades or projects? Uh, this. Um, yeah, this winter, besides plowing, uh, relaxing a little bit. <laughs> um, I recently just built uh, a garage over here. I had a garage built this summer, and I am going to be practicing some woodworking skills in there and build some shelves and stuff like that and basically just try to keep myself busy in there and i want to do some work on my skid and basically stuff like that i'm not much of a carpenter so we'll see how it goes but um that's going to take a lot of my time that's really the only project that i had going on um it's tough up here in the winters man it's, it's hard finding things to do i like to hike i like to go out on the on the atvs and stuff like that but it's um it is it is definitely a different thing getting used to uh this will be my second winter going in and being self-employed and just plowing with nothing else to really do during the daytime so it is it's weird it's weird but i'll, I'll find a couple things to tinker with um but not not too much There'll be there'll be a few feet of snow here on the ground soon, so it's you're very limited on what activities, what projects you're gonna take on. Try to get as much done before the snow comes. You know oh, and as far as uh, you're saying batch mixing, um, honestly, the one the one piece of uh, advice that will save you and make you the most money down the line is to take every dollar that you're making now, whatever your next house wash is, roof wash is, take all that money and buy a splitter for your rig. Because every time that you go out and batch mix a job, you are really just throwing money away. Because, and I batch mix, I batch mix for five, six months, uh, probably five months. Um, when you, I had a hundred gallon tank on my truck. So let's say you wanted to get somewhere around like a house wash mix. You might put in 30 gallons of bleach and then fill the rest up 70, you know, maybe 60 gallons of water. And then you're going out to a job and you're using that, you're using that mix. And then say you got another one stacked behind it and that job doesn't need whatever mix you have. Say it's a, a two, 3% mix. It really only needs like half a percent, 1%. You're stuck using that mix. And if you have a, a roof wash in the beginning of your day, and um, uh, then you got a couple house washes after, then you got to like play the guessing game of, well, I'll just dilute down the rest of this roof wash mix, turn it into a house wash mix. Um, and you're going to be using 10, 15 gallons on a house wash, where if you have a metering system, which is a little bit, you know, you do a couple house jobs and it'll, it'll pay for itself, you know, four or 500 bucks, 600 bucks maybe. Um, with the metering system, you can go, okay, this is a 1% house, this is a half a percent house on this roof, I'm going to do 5%, 4%, and you can actually change your, what's pulling from your chemical tank in to mix with the water. So all day long, you can regulate that, and you will cut your usage of SH down like 70%. And so it's not just whatever your batch mix is. So I would, uh, obviously we all got to, we got to start with what we had. Like I said, I batch mixed for months, roof washing. And I had a, I had a, a, a batch mix tank for roofs. So it was really strong. Usually it was a 25 gallon tank. And then I had a, uh, then I had a 100 gallon tank that was just batch mix for mainly house wash. So I could kind of regulate it a little bit better, but um, eventually had that metering system. It, it's a game changer. It really is. And it's not too much more. It's not too much of an expense to get it um so i would just recommend getting away from batch missing as soon as you can and you'll you'll never you'll never turn back you'll say why didn't i not do that sooner 
it just makes it so much uh, easier to regulate your soap and stuff like that. The worst was uh, needing soap for a roof wash in your batch mix tank, and you pour soap in there enough so you had a sticky substance for the roof, and then you had to go to house washes after, and you'd spend a few hours rinsing soap off the house. But I would, uh, just my two cents. Any last ones here? We're going to wrap this up. Just a little little trial run. But for those of you who stopped in and the rest of the people that will see this uh, whenever they get around to looking at it, um, every Friday we're going to continue with the Q&A because uh, it seems to be helping. And uh, yeah, everything's cheap in Florida. Um just stay tuned and we will uh we'll get to uh we'll start doing this live probably around this time unless uh maybe it'll be better to do it a little bit later but there's no heads up for this one i just had to figure this out i've never done live on my phone before so we wanted to see what was going on um chemical lineup no i just use sh um sh and a little bit of roof snot um i don't do rust remover and uh gutter bomb and gutter clean and all that kind of stuff um a lot of money to be made with that kind of stuff but i just try to focus uh really just on the basics house wash roof wash gutters um and a little bit of pressure washing here and there my view on it is again i try not to spend too much money and you go down that road and you start buying a lot of stuff and if you've ever been in anyone's garage or basement everyone's needed a little bit of paint but you know you, you go and buy the whole gallon and we all have a dozen on or open paint cans of different colors and spray bottles and, and and stuff like that so the same is for this kind of stuff if you have a job that uh if you have a job that requires a little bit of rust remover and a little gutter bomb and, and stuff like that but maybe at least i don't think i would be busy enough i wouldn't be trying to get that many of those types of jobs so then i would end up with a bunch of gallons of this that and the other thing concrete clean, cleaner rust remover um and there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of guys that have a lot of add-ons and upsells and stuff like that. I'm just I'm just happy doing what I'm doing, and that's just the the bleach and soap and water and uh, siding and siding and roof stuff. So not going to be adding too much in the in the in the chemical sense of things. But all right, fellas, awesome, uh, good talking to you. I think this will be fun. Get uh, some more guys in here who can start wrapping out some uh, some questions and stuff. So whew, I'm gonna go get warm. See ya.